एलटीज इंडिया के टॉप इंस्टीट्यूट में काउंट होते हैं और इनमें एडमिशन लेने की इच्छा रखने वाले स्टूडेंट की लिस्ट भी बहुत लंबी है बहुत सारी मूवीज वेब सीरीज यूट्यूब चैनल इन आई आई और उनको पढ़ाने वाले इन कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट के टीचर्स की स्टोरी तो कवर कर लेते हैं लेकिन आफ्टर सिलेक्शन जो आपके रियल टीचर हैं यानी इन आई के प्रोफेसर उनकी स्टोरी बहुत कम लोग कवर कर पाते हैं टुडे आई कम्प्लीट बाय सीनियर प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम आई Also, the dean of R&D department. He is the first student of Dr. V. D. Gupta, and my supervisor from our master, Professor Sujit Roy. Dean, my master project under your guidance. But still, for the video, I want to know what kind of uh, what kind of subject do you teach in IIT Bhubaneswar? I basically teach uh, uh, first is the B. Tech subject. टॉट स्कूल I have lot of interest in teaching, so there are very few cases where I have uh, said that no, I cannot teach subject. Given the option, I can pick up the subject and teach. But organometallics and catalysis is your expertise. Is my is my expertise. But uh, like if you take some new subject, then definitely you have to learn by yourself also. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. So like. Uh, Uh, as a younger uh, generation or younger people, most of the time it happens if someone give you a new task, mm. we are having a smart kind of capability that we refuse it. But mm. like at your age when you start with your uh, PhD and all this stuff, you people don't have technology at all. Then how do you motivate yourself to learn all these kind of technology and also the new subject which you are going to study? I actually have a passion for. <coughs> reading books okay. okay and teaching i picked up from my uh, phd time i did my phd in at kanpur mm -hmm. there you have to take the tutorial okay But tutorial means you have to read literally go and teach the students what the stu teacher has first taught So you have to attend the class and again mm -hmm. go to the students and teach the same thing without any notes or anything. Okay, so that was something uh, which I really enjoyed. Okay, the BTEC students, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, very uh, very smart. Okay, they will pose any question or like that. So I have to really again go back to studies and come back and uh, tell them the answers. So this way, I have somehow found that I get a lot of um, what should I say um, hype. You know, say a lot of hype that you can also get. Okay. Okay. When I teach, I get I really become very high. Mm -hmm. Okay, some people drink and become high, but <laughs> <laughs> but you teach and become high. I become high. high. You teach and high. Okay. So that that is there. I am, I know very well. Uh, whether I am taking a class after the class, whether it went well or not, okay? Because mm -hmm. somehow you you have taken a good class, means I feel a lot of enjoyment. Okay. If I have not taken the class well, mm -hmm. it uh, I I instantly feel that the the class didn't go well. Okay. okay. And, And then you like I another have thing good. is that I am one who has never used notes. Okay. Uh, there are some teachers, especially mm -hmm. in India. 
uh, who make a lot of these notes. No, it's uh, like big pile of another pile book. Of, uh, another book. Yes. I don't do that. I pick up research papers mm. and books. I go with the book. It's directly to the book. Yes. And then go and talk to the students, things like that. So every year what happens, oh. any subject, until or unless you study little more, you know, of those, uh, uh, of what is the research going on. And you, you have to excite the students with new information. Yeah, when I was doing my master from here, you always uh, try to make the uh, molecule yeah. into real, like a real yes. physical structure exactly. and bring that model into the class. Yes. Model, you yeah. can bring models, excite them. And you also scare people with the last model you said, I mean, so <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, but it was really entertaining. Right. And chocolate is one thing I always distribute to yeah. the students in order to tell them that learning is fun. Yes. Teaching is real fun if um, learning is equally fun. Okay, yes. so basically the real motivation of coping cop up with these kind of technology is yes. learning, kind of learning, learning. inside it. Absolutely. So what exactly the incident which motivates you to become a professor or a researcher? This I should, should uh, give the entire credit to one of my college professor. Okay. okay. So, he was a very lanky, tall professor. Are you talking about uh, B.D. Gupta or someone no, else? No, okay. no. This is one Dr. Uh, Ranajit Day. Mm -hmm. he, he was my college professor. Okay. Okay. So, he, he came in, when I was in Darjeeling. Mm -hmm. There I did my undergraduation, uh, B.S.C. So, B.S. Honours, what I know. He came to B.S. Honours. So, then this guy, he was very smart, as smart in uh, every sense, okay. <laughs> look smart, talk mm -hmm. smart and things like that. But he was so dedicated. He came to the first class, I remember, and told, I will not be able to take your class because I did not prepare. The what? A teacher, also, <laughs> a teacher has to also prepare and then he, then we learned that he comes to class well prepared, okay, and then uh, tries to excite us. And then in the in that evening, the <coughs> evenings start very early. Mm -hmm. But our class would end at five o'clock, and in on a subject, normally the in the afternoon you have the laboratories, long long laboratories. Okay. Sometimes the laboratories used to end at seven o'clock. By that time. The entire city was dark. Yes. Okay, I mean, it was a hill, mm -hmm. but you will see that the dark and lights have started. To, uh, and then by that time, we, we will finish our uh, experiments. Okay. And I tell you, in, in my, I have seen many laboratories that have worked, but those experiences in my college with Professor Day. Mm -hmm was a really exciting one. He would be with us, answering every question, ask us to repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, and every time he would come up with new projects for us to do and we'll try and then if we fail again, go. He would ask us to improvise. We have to finish the experiment that day only. Okay, okay. not that okay, we leave it and come tomorrow, next day. No procrastination. No, 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 no. And then he would feed us. Okay. With samosa, tea and all those things. That is what they have picked up. You know, I used uh -huh. to take the students to outside and you know, sometimes yeah, yeah. teaching people with their teas. Mm -hmm. he, he became the inspiration. Okay. Like he would continuously so he, feed us. So yeah, he's not only like inspiring you to become a professor, also inspiring you to become a good person. Good person. That interpersonal relationship which I have learned, it was of course one thing from him. Uh, Mm -hmm. And other, of course, by sheer uh, chance, I went to IIT Kanpur and there are Dr. Piri Gupta, in whose name the main organometallic book is there. I happened to be his first student. Mm -hmm. So, being a first student means a lot of privileges yes. and a lot of <laughs> pressure. Also, pressure that you have to perform really well. Exactly, you are right. So we were almost, after some time we were uh, like friends mm -hmm. uh, and 
he was uh, all through trained in abroad. His PhD, postdoc, everything was abroad. He was from University College of London <coughs> and in Australia. <coughs> so, Professor Gupta taught me one thing that he used to always tell, which I keep on telling my students, that you have to go inside your flask. Okay. Okay, I think I have told you people also. Mm -hmm. And don't think outside the flask. You have to go inside, inside the, the flask. flask and then start thinking. Okay, why, why this experiment has gone wrong? Mm -hmm. This is one thing that Professor Gupta has really. He just passed away at a very young age, at 60, yeah. at the age of 60. Mm -hmm. But he was so, like he would give me full freedom. That was the big best thing that happened with Professor Gupta. Okay, in college we used to do under the guidance of a professor thing. But here in you know, PhD it's full freedom. And that's what the same thing I also feel when I was doing my master thesis I yeah. in your laboratory. Yeah. That you always provide full freedom. Yeah. And this also creates a personality of leadership. Absolutely. So Absolutely. That's right. This is what I to tell people is that what you get, you that you only deliver. Yeah. So if somebody has got love, they mm -hmm. will love people. But if somebody has worked in a very constrained environment in their own life, mm -hmm. perhaps uh, they will also make a, their laboratory in such that their students will be under constraint. Yes, they have to be like a, uh, every yeah. time pressurizing students. So whatever I have, <coughs> I have today mm -hmm. is because of this upbringing of unfortunate that I have got good teachers. One or two teacher, good teacher is good enough. Okay, you don't have to be all surrounding, surrounded mm -hmm. by good teachers. So, Professor uh, Gupta, and then in my postdoc in Canada, Professor Kudafat. He is a very big professor. Okay, I mean, FRS, FRS uh, being a fellow of Royal Society, is a very big. I joined him and uh, he just gave me two pieces of paper. He said, oh, and he said, This is your project. Okay. And I said, Okay, I will take my time. As a postdoc, when mm -hmm. I join, of course, you have to take more responsibility. Mm -hmm. But he used to every day come in the morning, go from desk to desk. Mm -hmm. We had a very big lab. Like okay. they had, they had nearly 20 all together. Okay. Like the whole group is around, group, around 20 or so. Yeah. And uh, Several rooms. Considered to be a very big group. Big group, big group, mm -hmm. yeah. But he would go person to person and say good morning, good morning, good morning. And he will never ask you, oh, what are you doing? I said, okay. he, but you were having freedom to stop him. Mm -hmm. So I want to discuss something and that. Okay. And then he will stand there and discuss with you hours and hours. Okay. And try to encourage you, whatever you are suggesting, you mm -hmm. will suggest something. So this uh, asking question and then trying to solve the same thing, okay, uh, by interpersonal uh, discussion mm -hmm. at a high level, very high level, okay. that I learned from Dr. Okay. So basically your personality development is not a one day story, it's no, like step no, no, by no, step no, process. You grab every good thing from a person you to whom you meet right. in your life yeah, and then absolutely. absorb it yourself. Absolutely right, yeah. I, I must say that. So I learned slowly. I mm -hmm. come from Darjeeling, which is a very small town. Yes. <laughs> also beautiful. Also beautiful. Like, very small town, but I uh, didn't know what my career would have been. Mm -hmm. I liked chemistry a lot. Yeah, that's all I can say. But over the years, I have learned things slowly. Had the good fortune of getting good teachers, and from there, I could pick up the good habits. Okay, and today I am because because, of, it, yeah. because of what they have taught me. Okay, uh, it is considered that movies are a reflection of our society, mm -hmm. and in movies, it's shown that if you are a researcher or very renowned professor, 
they are like always close themselves into their working area and they never talk to people. They are considered to be rude and grow big beard and they always close themselves. Do you agree with these kinds of people? Absolutely, absolutely not. And yeah. what kind of um, a normal day of your or like professor like you look like? How you start your day? How you manage your normal life? I am your I am a person who feels very comfortable in the laboratory mm -hmm. okay, with the students. Okay. But now that I have a uh, lot of uh, administrative teaching, other duties, mm -hmm. therefore I have to divide my research time uh, and teaching time mm -hmm. and uh, study, like literature study. I have to divide it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But given the option, I would say I would like to be 100% in the in laboratory. Be <laughs> <laughs> with the student because they bring you know, a lot of refreshed uh, environment around you. They let you think, think, think. Yes, like you have to be really inside inside yes. the class and something. Exactly, exactly, exactly. The students mm -hmm. are the most dearest one to me. Most dearest. I mean, during the pandemic, I was the most unhappy person. Okay, because because you're I was to see not able to see the students, students uh, you know, directly. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, yes, I uh, have to manage. Now that a lot of responsibilities are there, mm -hmm. I have to divide my time between research, then literature, studying literature, for teaching some time I have to give, and then administrative duties. All these four, these are taxing mm -hmm. and uh, it definitely suffers a little bit of family life. Okay. Uh, but it's okay, my family is also understanding. Okay. But it's not like the movie show. Not at all, uh, not at all. Uh, you see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, I know you personally, but the, it's a perspective or a kind of stereotype. It's of a people. stereotype, I don't know, maybe where from it has come, maybe the, in the 1800s or so, century, okay. 18th century, maybe people were like that. So, okay. mm -hmm. so uh, like being a researcher, especially if you are working in the field of chemistry, we have to face a lot of failures. Like we have to um, re-attempt many reactions and then really the test of our patients' level. And nowadays, like if we check the report, the suicide rate of students are continuously increasing because of the pressure, they are not able to handle it. So, what is your strategy to cope up with the failures? <coughs> and what would you like to suggest to those students? Actually, uh, this is an interesting question that you have asked and uh, was thinking about it also. The students at your age, mm -hmm. okay, uh, they have a uh, lot of energy. Yeah. Okay. As a guide, I believe our job is just to channelize that energy. Many times the student feels more pressure, not because the reaction has not worked or there is a failure, mm -hmm. but because the guide is continuously poking, why don't you get this result? Okay. How long you will take to give me the next paper? Mm -hmm. So I found the the especially in India, mm -hmm. I think this is one of the reasons that at outside atmosphere, okay, uh, that, that the student experiences in the laboratory mm -hmm. and uh, peer pressure. So peer pressure, social pressure. Uh, peer pressure, social pressure, these are the ones. But in my laboratory, I diffuse, uh, I mean, I have been very successful. Mm -hmm. I have seen students going through huge pressure. But I have been successful in diffusing their uh, pressure uh, just by being friendly to them, okay? And trying to share. I can tell you that some of my students who had gone through very bad period, okay, when the reactions are not going and, and we get clue and we try to work but still it doesn't go. Mm -hmm. So then I join hand with them, not in terms of doing the reaction, but try to analyze continuously. So that's what actually many years, many times the student uh, without analyzing keeps doing the reaction and tries to modify the reaction. Analysis is an important part of research. 
analysis, the more and more analysis you do, why the reaction has failed. You give more time to that mm -hmm. rather than going to the lab and out. repeating the experiment. Okay. So we then need not to do blind <coughs> no, yes. That is very important. You know, analysis, literature search, these are very important. Mm -hmm. And if you get a guide who supports you mm -hmm. and uh, uh, also listens to you, okay, because this is a two-way, you know, a guide and student relationship or supervisor and student relationship is a very close, close knit affair, I should <laughs> say, <laughs> a very close knit affair. The affair may fail or it may mm -hmm. be successful. But when it becomes successful, it's, it is, can become successful if both participate very, very nicely. Very, okay. together they participate. So I don't believe that somebody uh, having a uh, um, guide as a partner mm -hmm. who continuously uh, uh, discusses, shares uh, with the student will bring and that, but that kind of a student will never face uh, tension or stress. Or oh, what happened to those people, those who are not having good friendly group, uh, professor or mentor? Ha, many times, you know, I have seen uh, uh, these circumstances because professors are also going through a lot of their pressure mm -hmm. because of work pressure and things like that. Uh, but if you are in this profession as a professor and doing your academic mm -hmm. research duties, then you have to have you have to also elevate yourself to that stature that you the life of the student is in your hand. You are young students. The future. So if if you can provide that little impetus mm -hmm. to the student to diffuse their stress. Guide's role, I think, is nearly 90 to 95 yeah. percent. That is my, my personal view. Okay. Uh, it, he or she can easily diffuse tension in a... Uh, he should be able to detect whether a, person, whether a particular student is going through the stress. Uh -huh. That capability is very important. And that can only happen when you are... The guy itself is emotionally balanced. Okay. Okay. I mean, because it's not that all students will be at equal platform. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. um, at various levels of maturity, the students are there. Okay. Some may be academically very smart, mm -hmm. but teamwork wise, they are not good. They are not very good. Okay. okay. Some may be teamwork is very good, but they are. Uh, executing a reaction and then trying to get the data, right data out of it, mm -hmm. they, they fail. Okay. So the guide should be able to detect those little little points. Okay. Okay, that okay, this particular student is having this weakness. So they have to target that one. There is, you know, guiding is a, another thing. I have 21 PhDs produced so far and I have seen various kinds of students. Mm -hmm. But I have always tried to be friend with them, interact with them. So that you can uh, see what kind of mentality they are going through. Yes, and try to find a weakness in them. And I can tell you, in one occasion, I have sensed that they were uh, not among these 21. Mm -hmm. So after joining, a student joined my lab, I was in Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. And in three months' time, okay. I uh, found that he is feeling uncomfortable in my lab. So I went and talked to him, what is that which is making you uncomfortable? And he told me, no sir, I wanted to make big, um, big, size big molecules. Okay, big molecules. Big molecules, so natural, uh, what is that called, natural products. Okay. I said, my lab is not in that, uh, mm -hmm. that kind of that lab, okay. but I will find you a guide mm -hmm. of exactly what you are looking for. Uh, and I eventually went and talk to another scientist I told this person will fit in your laboratory. Okay, and nobody knew that the student is still today friend to me. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. But that, that's very rare, nobody does this. <laughs> it's just very, really, very rare. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he has become a scientist. Okay, he has become, himself became a scientist. 
and uh, after then I made arrangement in such a way that very smooth transition my, from my lab to his lab. Okay. okay. So that is where it is. That it's not that all that relations have to work from day one. Mm -hmm. But you, the guide has too many lot of uh, responsibilities. I also want to say something. Like mm -hmm. uh, before coming to IIT Bhubaneswar, I was also not planning to do PhD or become a researcher, but it was you who really play a very important <laughs> role. Uh, and that's why I'm, I probably said that now I'm a researcher because of you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I have one more question. It is considered that IITs are top institute in India and being a professor of IIT is a really very tough job. And for that you have to be very intelligent. So what kind of student you were in your school mm -hmm. days? Are you like in top one or top two or being average is okay? In or what kind of student should yeah, be? Yeah, I can tell you. I can tell you very mm -hmm. This is an interesting uh, story. Like I was, I told my daughter all the time. Okay. I was never for second and third in uh, my school. Okay. I was fourth, fifth and sixth. Okay. Something like that. Okay, so that kind of thing. So I didn't have pressure from my parents. My time, of course, mm -hmm. the pressures were less. And when we have say three, four children, parents will never care about who is doing what, right? Then after that, when I became, I grew up. Mm -hmm. I <clears throat> because the school in which I studied, okay. They are very beautiful laboratory, physics laboratory. In, uh, uh, I studied uh, during a time, not the New York time, that we had class 11. Mm -hmm. The present government is trying to bring it back. Okay. You st study first up to 11, 11 not 10. Mm -hmm. You study up to 11, and from 8th standard or 9th standard onwards, you have to choose uh, science. And PCM, that is physics, chemistry, math, mm -hmm. or CVJ, chemistry, biology, that stream. So I chose the phase chemistry math, our, our laboratory, uh, it was a government school, and uh, physics laboratory, chemistry laboratory. Everything was sweet and span, and <laughs> each of us had a, our own uh, desk, yeah, laboratory okay. desk, okay? Uh -huh. And, and uh, it's an old school, uh, high school. And uh, the teacher told us first day that okay you put your name, name tag name tag on that so professional so okay so i was i mean and then you have a test tube rack in which you have test mm -hmm. tubes and the dilute acids uh, other that base acids so, and mm -hmm. lot of uh, colorful reactions and things like that so that uh, was my first uh, falling in love with chemistry, okay. Okay, a good laboratory. Mm -hmm. So I went through chemistry, but even at my time also there was some part that you have to go to engineering. Okay. Okay. So I told my brother that I don't want to do engineering, <laughs> and that was a real panic in at the house. Okay, but then my brother had to listen to me. Mm -hmm. After my BSc, again my brother forced me that no, 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 study, there is a biochemical engineering, now the chemical world okay. has come. Mm -hmm. So I got into a very uh, Jadalpur University, which is uh, in Kolkata itself, so, yes. so, which is ah, a yeah, very yeah. good university. Okay. He asked me to give the joint entrance examination mm -hmm. and I happened to become third. <laughs> and he told okay. you what became third, now you join. <laughs> uh, and I joined there and you won't believe that was a horrible 21 days for me. And you left that you was in 21 yes, days? Yes, 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 absolutely 21 days. Because one day they will teach electrical engineering and next class they will teach chemistry, okay. amino acid and third class they will teach some mathematics. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, engineering, drawing, etc, etc. I, that is one time my call from the heart okay. came, absolutely, the call from the heart came 
that no, I should be with chemistry. Okay, so I left that subject, I went and studied in chemistry. chemistry. Okay, and that is the first time in MSc only I became gold medalist. Okay. So not before that. After that, uh, again, I was, although I became gold medalist, but I have seen many, all my friends. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, all my MSc friends, after uh, completing their masters, mm -hmm. they have done, uh, gone into chem chemistry professions. Okay. They became chemistry teacher mm -hmm. or uh, chemistry uh, lecturer, okay, scientists, okay, mm -hmm. and. Uh, that is one good thing. Even we had seven girls, all of them became teacher. Okay, and like after completing their master, master they, they became teacher in the junior colleges. Okay. okay. Nobody is like sitting at home and no, 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 no. Everybody is having potential. Yeah, exactly. And all the boys, uh, they became either college, in the college or mm -hmm. uh, uh, scientist, industry. Even we thought that one of our mm, mm, uh, fellow mm, students, you know, I mean, uh, we thought that he will really good chemistry. Okay. But he went to USA and okay. became environmental chemistry scientist. Okay, professor. so like, <laughs> slightly modified himself. Slightly modified. Mm -hmm. So he became environmental chemist okay. in a government laboratory in USA. Just retired here. Yeah, he retired a few, two, two, three years back. Okay, so he was from Punjab also. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm, I was telling that uh, it's not that you have to become a genetically number one from day one. Okay. Okay, super bright. But the I keep telling acting students, I have told you Google also, you listen to everybody, mm -hmm. think from your brain, etc but decide from the heart. If you decide your critical decisions in life mm -hmm. comes from your heart, mm -hmm. you will never fail. Absolutely never fail. Uh, that's a secret, like if that's you follow a real your secret. heart or I, you work with your mind. That mm -hmm. thing that I have decided to quit in engineering mm -hmm. and went back to chemistry, I think that was a turning point. Okay. Okay. Even though I was not at all established, Mm -hmm. Even at that uh, young age, I could take the decision that no, mm -hmm. engineering is not my... Uh, your, like your field or your thing. thing. So, I, I suggest the best thing would be to listen to your heart. Okay. If you can listen and go with your passion, that's it. I don't believe in this first, second, third business. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like you already... Uh, uh, teach in some universities also and also in IIT Kharagpur and then become professor here in IIT Bhubaneswar. Uh -huh. So, what kind of student life um, pro provided by IIT? Like, I know, I know, but just for the video I want to know, like, uh, what kind of student life IITs actually provide? Because most of the movies, like Super 30, they always give uh, hate or prospective. How is the life of IIT as friends and how is the life of the teachers, like the coaching teachers? But the life of professor inside IITs, nobody tells that. Okay. And the life inside like the IITs, uh, life of a student in IITs, nobody tells that. So how do you uh, want to describe this? See, I was a student at IIT Kanpur also. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, <clears throat> I have seen, I have mingled with BTEC students. And then master students. And I take a full, during my PhD, I had to do classes with the MSc students. And I had to again as a tutor, I had to take that class. Okay. So uh, I have seen one thing, especially in IIT system, that uh, there is plenty of opportunity. Okay. Okay. Plenty of opportunity. That is number one. And there is a, um, at least in IIT Kanpur, we had almost 24 hours with us. Okay, why I am telling 24 hours with us? That, uh, at the hostel also we had a mess. Uh, it used to run up to 2 o'clock, 
and only close for two three hours again morning it will get up it will open up mm. 24 hour you have you have full freedom mm -hmm. present diet system where uh, you have regular examinations and semester we also have okay but uh, in our type, perhaps things were a little less uh, regulated okay. than now. Now they are more furnished or like, like well disciplined kind of something. Ah, the structure of the uh, classes are a little bit more. But don't compare IIT Bhuvaneshya. IIT Kanpur, IIT Kharagpur, these are the established IIT. Mm -hmm. okay. In those IITs, the pattern is already set at a level okay, where the student have a really good option of spending time in academics mm -hmm. as well as spending time for non-academic activities. Yes, like you provide a lot, a lot of space for like a personal development, personal development yeah. uh, and also like mm, many clubs there, yes. student activity and many sports ground, right. swimming pool. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So we are also building a swimming pool here mm -hmm. and now 42 acre land is there uh, which has, they are converted into various courts, uh, basketball, volleyball, and also tennis, cricket, etc. And there is a now a student activity centre, a lot of societies are there. Mm -hmm. They were not there to, uh, a few years back. So uh, that is another thing where the students in IIT mm -hmm. get to uh, uh, especially the undergraduates and uh, get a lot of opportunity to develop outside their curriculum. Okay. Okay. Another new thing that I am seeing, uh, I am also now the director of this part. <coughs> I am trying to mentor students who want to go for startups. Okay? Startups, yes. Startups, okay. So this is a new generation that is building up who uh, say that they want to do things on their own. They want to become entrepreneurs, okay? And uh, government is giving a lot of value, a lot of opportunity, a lot of fund, mm -hmm. okay? We have a separate building in the city, okay, uh, okay? 50,000 square feet, where uh, students can uh, start their own start their own, okay? Really uh, really, I mean, mm -hmm. That is a good thing. And uh, only problem is that so much of open space, Mm -hmm. That you can, you can have academic, mm -hmm. you can have non-academic activities. Okay. So only my suggestion to students would be, you have to continuously then at the end of the day close your eyes and think. What do you was, think you want to ah, know? Yeah, like follow your heart. Uh, have you done the day uh, satisfied? Mm -hmm. Are you satisfied with the day you have, how you have completed the day? Okay. okay. And I have seen many students who have um, studied, um, say, engineering and later on went to philosophy. Yes. Okay, mathematics. Because IT students uh, get that kind of opportunity. So, uh, basically, this was my last question, which I really want to say. So, before our meeting, I have already posted on the Instagram story that I'm about to meet you. And okay. if anyone wants to ask any questions, they can. So the most relevant question which I found is uh, from Roshan Kumar. He's asking, uh, like, you people are considered to be the role model for students. Mm -hmm. And according to you, what kind of life a student should live or what should be the ultimate goal of our life? Like, this is not only for <laughs> IITs people, but for, like, all of the students. Yeah, I understood your question. I, I can answer also in a very simple way. Okay, so you see that in my this thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I have a lot of pencils. Okay, I have a lot of <laughs> pens. Okay, and I have lots of this origami stuff. Yes. Okay, so I mean, I understood? This is like children play. Yes. Okay, so and I also have this harmonica. Yeah. Okay. I was happy where you uh, like explain this. Yeah. So that means this gives you an idea mm -hmm. that um, the options are there. I can spend 
easily 10 minutes playing the harmonica. Okay, and relax. Okay. I, I, every time I pick up these ones and make things. Okay, and keep them here. Okay, so you do that. You, if you are little creative, you can uh, make a, a very nice. Uh, even you have these things. You see. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> see the kids. <laughs> so, so I have, I have so many dolls <laughs> with, with which I can play. Okay. Okay. I'm just by staring at them and having them here. So that's what I'm telling. You know, so it's it is it is not that you know too many things are there. If you are, you will you will you will be amused how the IIT professor can <laughs> keep all these things in his lab. <laughs> so this is there and that is there. Huh? So many things are there. Then this is there. Yes, and you, you play really very well, I Thank noticed. you so much, thank you. So, and that is what the student also have to do. Okay, you can break up your life or your time in a very good way. Okay, and uh, you have to be little creative. How, to, how you can relax yourself. Okay, okay so it's not like when you're working Environment should be so hectic. You also yeah. have to be like, very supportive to your first yeah, yeah. You also. make your environment a little nice, okay, innovative, so that the environment itself gives you, you know, mm -hmm. a, a kind of uh, a relaxing atmosphere. Okay. I have books. I have these things. Mm -hmm. so, so board is there, so I can do whatever I have to do. Students also have to find out, you know, their ways. Of, is it my handwriting? No, no, no. no it seems it looks like, like yours. <laughs> Maybe uh, your handwriting has become like me and mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So we are almost on the end of our interview. Yeah. Thank you so much for yeah. joining. Would you like to play this in front of me? <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. This is that ye dosti ka apna koi. Thank you very much. Good.